nephew of Elizabeth City State. At right tackle, number 74, Bob Lilly of Texas Christian. One of the truly great linemen ever to play this game of pro football. And at right end, number 66, George Andre of Marquette. Man who made such a big play against San Francisco in the NFC Championship game. Now the linebackers. At left linebacker, number 52, Dave Edwards of Auburn. Dave always on the strong side of the Dallas defense. Tough against the run. The middle linebacker, number 55, Leroy Jordan of Alabama. Man who led the Cowboys this year in tackle. Right linebacker, number 54, Chuck Howley of West Virginia. The Miami Dolphins have tremendous respect for him. The left cornerback, number 26, Herb Adderley of Michigan State. Man who's played in more Super Bowls than anyone else. This is fourth. And the right cornerback is number 20, Mel Renfro of Oregon. The strong safety is number 34, Cornell Green of Utah State. And the free safety, number 43, Cliff Harris. And you're going to help me with that one, Pat. That is Washita, College of Arkansas. Yes, sir. Okay. And then the head coach of the Dallas Cowboys, Tom Landry, and the rest of the members of the Dallas Cowboy team, the champions of the National Football Conference. And now our attention will be turned to the other corner of the field, the starting offensive unit of the American Football Conference champion, Miami Dolphins. Receiver, number 42, Paul Warfield of Ohio State. Next to him, the left tackle, number 77, Doug Cousin of Indiana. He'll have the job of blocking George Andre. Number 67, the left guard, is Bob Kuchenberg of Notre Dame. And what a challenge he faces this afternoon, facing the great Bob Lilly. The center, number 61, Bob DeMarco of Dayton. A man who has solidified this Miami offensive line, former All-Pro the St. Louis Cardinals. And at right guard, you will see number 66, Larry Little of Bethune-Cookman. And this is a man that many consider to be the best offensive guard in all of pro football. The right tackle, number 73, Norm Evans of Texas Christian. One of the original remaining Dolphins. The tight end will be number 80, Marv Fleming of Utah. This is his third Super Bowl. He played in two with the Green Bay Packers. At wide receiver for the Dolphins, number 81, Howard Twilley of Tulsa. A pattern receiver who doesn't have great speed, but very reliable. Now the running backs, number 21, Jim Kick of Wyoming. Part of the tandem that blocks so well for each other, along with his fullback, this man right here. And here he is, number 39, Larry Zonka of Syracuse. And the quarterback of the Dolphins, number 12, Bob Greasy of Purdue. And then we'll see the head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Don Shula. There he is, and the rest of his Miami Dolphin team. Just prior to the reenactment of the coin toss, we would like to make mention of our officials for the game. The referee is Jim Tunney. The umpire, Joe Connell. The headlinesman, Al Sabato. The line judge, Art Holst. The back judge, Ralph Vandenberg. The field judge, Bob Wartman. And we have alternate officials here today, Bernie Ullman and Tony Sacco. And as our captains, and I don't think we have enough time to run down the hall of them, Pat. I'm just checking out the Dolphins. They have five men out there, including Nick Bonacotti, their fine middle linebacker. Bob Greasy's the man just backing away right there. And the Cowboys also with about five or six captains for this game. Herb Adderley is the man closest to you. And Jim Tunney, our referee, indicates that the Dolphins won the toss and have elected to receive. Watch the Cowboys with Tom Landry. Now we will have a march to the flag. Saluting the colors of the United States, members of the 5th U.S. Army, Fort Sam Houston, Texas, with the garrison flag, the United States Marine Corps silent drill team from Washington, and men from the United States Navy and Coast Guard based in New Orleans. Our national anthem will be sung by the United States Air Force Academy Chorale, directed by James Roger Boyd. 
also see a double flyover of Phantom Jets from the 33rd Tactical Fighter Wing based at Eglin Air Force Base at Fort Walton Beach in Florida. When our, when our Phantom Jets appear, by the way, they will be in what is known as the missing man formation to remind all of us of our men who are missing or captured in Southeast Asia. We ask that you remember them in your thoughts or prayers. Two flights of four each Phantom Jets. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem.